Hey, what's going on everyone? Today's the 25th of August, 2023. NVIDIA has reported their earnings. They beat estimates, blew it out the water. Congratulations, the AI boom is continuing for this business. Now, the question is though, will the rally continue? We might need to pump the brakes on that. And let me tell you why. Look at this. The last time NVIDIA reported earnings was back here in May, right? And the market completely blew out the water saw a gap occur to the market in nvidia okay saw that now on this latest earnings release right we didn't get that same type of price action you guys can see that we did ended the day up in in uh, nvidia but look at we was only up a tenth of a percent that's it off of beating estimates in its earnings the market only ended the day up a tenth of a percent. So what changed from yesterday's earnings release or the day before from the last one? What changed? That's why I'm asking the question, will Nvidia stock continue to rally? Because those two scenarios definitely looks different, even though both earnings release were positive. See, that's the thing when you try to connect earnings, news events to price action, you see a, a disregard to why price is moving a certain way. You would expect the market to do what it did previously, correct? Now, I know many of you may have said, no, I wouldn't suspect that to happen because times are different. And I do hope you do feel that way because that is exactly right. Those same people who traded on NVIDIA's last earnings, they may not have traded on the most recent earnings and vice versa. We might have had new people come into NVIDIA this last earnings versus who didn't participate in the one prior. Like, let's face the facts. Every day the market is open in stocks. You have a different, completely different layout of the field. People's analysis is different. They didn't have access to information that they do have today that they didn't have before. Newer people are coming into the market trading. Veterans are not participating because they saw previously historically that when something occurs that this usually happens. So they didn't trade and didn't invest. These are all reasons as to why I don't focus on news on events on earnings because how people perceive them is completely ambiguous it's completely a guess so i strictly focus on what people actually do and the only way that we can tell what people are actually doing is off of the price chart this is literally where people are pressing the buy and sell buttons and from today's i mean yesterday's price action in nvidia it tells me from what was different from the last earnings release is that more people in nvidia was selling yesterday that's why the market only ended up a tenth of a percent versus when earnings was released the last go around in may the market ended the day of 24 percent right so from that standpoint i think the market in nvidia is going to go lower for a time period all right so let's go ahead and do this because I did do a price prediction. Let me get this out the way first. A price prediction was produced in NVIDIA on the 21st of August. Looking for the market to go higher. You guys can see it. it didn't take long for the market to ultimate TP price. All right. So now let's straighten this up a little bit. Okay. Market in NVIDIA did make all time highs, right? And I think we need to create a trading channel in the market in NVIDIA right now. So this is the current trend. So when I create these lines, take a look. We all can tell that Nvidia is still bullish, right? We got it. Cool. But when we look at Nvidia from where we are at now versus where this trend is, we can see price continue to go down 450. We can even see the market come down to 432. And we'll still be trending higher though. Right. It's, it's all about how you view the market because longer term. Yeah, this market is still bullish. Short term, 
intraday we can expect price to come down within that channel though here is Nvidia on the two-day time frame this high volume and where the market closed tells me that yeah over the last two days was definitely an increase in selling here it is on the three-day chart it's kind of mixed on a three-day chart we can have buyers you got sellers so this next three-day price bar that's going to formulate it's going to be real crucial who is dominating the stock's price take a look at this on the five got an indicator weakness triggered here it is on the weekly here it is on the two weeks this two weekly price bar kind of tells you that the market definitely is still bullish okay now daily time frame every time we see price action in nvidia trade above 460 we begin to get these indicators of weakness these up fakes right take a look we got one here we have one here got one there got one here and we have one yesterday so i would say initially the market in nvidia is it's a little bit weak but it's not that weak yet to the point where like i'm looking for it to come down to this base of this trading channel i'm not looking at that yet okay so looking at this on a 330 minute chart we can actually see price in nvidia come down and jump off this trend line within a trading channel to continue to go higher so I at least suspect that we got the market opportunity to come down to these levels right there. All right, so I'm pretty much through. I am gonna look for price in Nvidia to go lower, but let me put that into perspective, not crash, not plunge, not crater, just go lower. Like we gotta expect these things to occur in the market for stocks. All right. So let me go ahead and do this. My first target in NVIDIA is going to be here at 460. Two and a half percent. Second target is going to be around 440, which is 6.86 percent. Now, as long as Nvidia's price stays below the high from yesterday, then yeah, we're going to look for the market to go down, and be prepared for the market to try to bounce off that ascending line as well too. Okay. So that's it. I'm done. Go ahead and give me your thoughts. Before you go, if y'all appreciate the video and the content, hit the like button, share the video, and also subscribe to get more of my content. Make sure you maintain the profitability, and as always, trade different.